Hello everybody and welcome to Techler. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a CentOS 7 server on your VMware workstation. So I hope you have the VMware workstation installed on your system. So let's move to the next step. The second step is you need to have a DVD ISO of CentOS. So this is the link from where you can download the CentOS ISO. Just click on the DVD ISO button and it will start the download of the ISO. I I'm already having the ISO for CentOS 7 so let's proceed to the next step just open your VMware workstation from the desktop icon and click on create new virtual machine select the first option typical and click next now select the option which mentions installer disk image file and browse the dvd iso and click on open so leave this warning as it is vmware workstation usually detects the operating system so in this case it's not detecting so click on next here it is detected the version if it's not detected for you Select Linux and from this drop down you can select the version of CentOS. Click on next. This is the name of the virtual machine. You can give it anything and this is the location where your virtual machine files will be saved. So you can change the destination. I'll leave this as it is and click on next. So this is the amount of hard disk you are allocating for a CentOS 7 installation from your hard disk. So you can increase the size depending upon the size of your hard disk. And the second that is the default option here is split virtual disk into multiple files. So it will split your virtual machine hard disk into multiple files and save it on your system. It's recommended to select this option if you are moving your virtual machine from one system to another or else you can select the first option. So I'll select the default one and click on next. This is the summary of your installation, a 20 GB hard disk, a RAM of uh, 1 GB. Click on finish. So here you have the memory of 1 GB. You can change the memory, RAM memory by clicking on this memory under devices and you can increase or decrease the amount of RAM which you want to allocate. I'll leave the default one and proceed with the installation. Now just click on power on this virtual machine so you'll be taken to the CentOS installation just select the first option install CentOS 7 Hit enter. Select your preferred language and click on continue. Now this is the page where you need to set your all the installation related stuff. So the first thing is the date and time. Select your region accordingly and click on done. The keyboard layout is US English. The language support is United States. The installation source which we have selected the DVD ISO and this software section so in this the section is very important once you open the section here you can see that the base environment if you leave this as default it will install your CentOS 7 server with basic functionality you'll not have a GUI you'll not have any uh, add-on packages installed on your system so these are all the different base environments which you can select the infrastructure server, the file print server, basic web server, virtualization host, anything you can select. I'll select the server with GUI functionality. 
and here you can select add on environments whatever you, whatever packages you want you, you need a dns name server or email server or ftp server you can select it it will install this with the installation of CentOS. so i'll I, i'll leave this unchecked i'll just install the server gui but if you want to install these extra packages of ftp email server or whatever it is you can select it from this side uh, once you've selected it just click on done and the second most important step is installation destination so just go and select this so there are two different options automatic conf partitioning and manual partitioning so if you select the automatic partitioning you don't have to do anything CentOS will take care of everything and do the automatic partitioning but if you want you can go and select the second option and you can do the manual partitioning of your system so i'll leave this first one as it is and click on it done and the third one is the network setup if you are connected to the internet you can turn it on so it will identify and connect your connect your virtual machine to the internet once it is completed click on done so we have set up our environment for the installation now you just need to click on begin installation so our installation is already started and uh, it is side by side asking us to set up the root password so just click on the root user and type in the password so if your password doesn't match the minimum requirement you need to click done twice let's click twice if you want you can add a user here uh, i'll leave this as it is and let the installation complete so uh, wait we'll wait for some time till our installation is completed and once the installation is completed we can take up from there so once your installation is complete just hit the reboot button and select the first option select the language and click next click next if you want to create a local account you need to create it here just type in the name give a password the location is set as we have already selected it in the installation click next leave this as it is and click next and click on start using CentOS Linux so this is how you install so you have the CentOS server with the GUI installed on the system so i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing and you can use this installation guide even if you are installing it on some kind of a server without the virtual machine so just skip the first two three steps of the virtual machine and you can follow up from there for the installation uh, once again thanks for watching if you are having any queries regarding this tutorial please feel free to comment on the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up once again Thanks for watching.